Hello everyone, good morning. We are two from the International I class and today we are excited to unravel the fascinating world of technology and dive into the inner workings of computer. But before we delve into the complexities of the subject, let comprises five enthusiastic members. I am Lucina Sabira and I will explain about the first step and the step of how computer works. There's also Fermenta Adi and Harris, Ahmed and Jonathan. Together we have embarked like on this journey to share our insight on how computer works. So let's begin. First, input device. Computers start by taking input from various devices. Common input device include the keyboard. You type on it on to provide text input. There's also mouse. You move it to control a pointer on the screen. There's microphone. It captures your voice for voice comments or audio recording. In some device, we could phone on smartphone or tablet is touch screen. So touch screens sense your touch for interactions. And sensor in smartphones like the accelerometer and GPS provide additional input. Uh, step two, processing units or CPU. The CPU is the computer's brain. Just like a human brain, it performs calculations and process data. When you click the mouse or press a key, the CPU interprets this action from software like your operating system and applications. Memory processor is like a for the CPU. It stores data and programs that the CPU is currently using. Hard drive is or SSD. RAM is fast but temporary. It clears when you turn off the computer. Storage. Your computer has long term storage for files, software, and the operating system. Common types include hard drive and SSD. Storage. Returns data even when the computer is is turned off. Software and operating system software like web browsers, processor, and the games provide introductions to the computer. The operating system, EAG, Windows, Mac OS, Linux, manage the hardware and software handling tasks like file management and user inter inter interface. Binar language inside the computer everything is represented in binary code 0 second and 1 second. This binary language is the foundation of all computer operation, processing and logic. The CPU performs calculation and logic operation. For example, when you sum two numbers is a calculation program, the CPU processes this number using binary code. Step 10 is network connectivity. Computers can connect to the internet and other devices via network cards or Wi-Fi. This enables online activities like web browsing, email, and online gaming. Step 11 is hardware component. Computers are made up of hardware components, including first CPU, processes data and interruption, second motherboard, connects and manage all components, third graphic card, handle video and graphic rendering, fourth memory modules, RAM for temporary storage, fifth power supply unit, or PSU, supplies power, sixth cooling system, prevent overheating, seventh storage drive, hard drive or SSDs for data storage and 8 input or output ports to connect peripherals. In summary, a computer is a complex machine that takes input from various devices. 
processes it using the CPU and RAM, stores data on storage devices, and produce output on screen and speakers. All of this happen to binary code, managed by software and, and an operating system, and supported by various hardware components. This intricate system enables the wide range of tasks and functions that modern compu computers perform.